any questions for Mr. Haydock? Okay, thank you, Mr. Haydock. Thank you. Uh, Bryce Carter, followed by Amanda Wagstaff and Luke Pickett. Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to first thank you for this opportunity to speak. Um, my name is Bryce Carter, and I was born and raised in Fairfax County. I go to uh, Virginia Tech down in Blacksburg. I'm also a member of the Environmental Coalition at Virginia Tech. Um, growing up in pretty much the sheltered suburbs of Northern Virginia, I really had no clue of what power, where it comes from, and what it means to turn a light switch. Um, and suddenly I found myself on a campus with a power plant that spews out brown smoke every day, all day. So I spent actually several years pursuing a career in the construction industry. Um, I was interested in being an architecture engineer. Um, I actually interned in Pentagon construction. Um, and that's what decided, made me decide uh, to go and apply to Virginia Tech. And I actually went and decided immediately I really began to open up my eyes and see all the effects, environmental effects, that we have on the state. And I absolutely love this state, Virginia. I definitely don't want to live anywhere else. Um, and with that said, um, I know a lot of people have actually commented on Virginia Tech um, kind of supporting you know, research. And I kind of wanted to clarify something and kind of explain the hard hat. Um, uh, a few months ago, there was a national conference called uh, Power Shift, and thousands of youth all across the nation converged in Washington, D.C., um, asking for um, renewable energy um, and uh, other things. Uh, basically, it was going, talking about global warming um, and what we can do to solve it. Virginia was the number one state represented, and ironically, 105 Hokies, number one school represented at this conference. And I think that basically shows that students are very concerned about these issues. Um, and also, um, I've been uh, very active uh, since one year ago about, um, I'm now a sophomore at Virginia Tech, and I've been uh, active in Blacksburg, I've been active on campus, I've been active in Wise County and even Fairfax County. Um, I visited Wise County and I was shocked, completely shocked at what was happening there. Um, I'm also a member of a newly formed coalition called the Virginia Climate Action Network of students across the um, state. And we had a small convergence over there and I went and um, basically talked to the locals because I, we were are petitioning this plant and I wanted to investigate um, why and how the locals feel about it. And I literally walked down the streets and I talked to people. Um, I can recall a few conversations and um, one guy has yard sale I point up to the mountains and like, what do you think there were windmills up there? He says, I think that would be great, that would provide jobs, and that would help solve a coal problem. Almost every single person I talked to said that jobs were the main issue. And while they loved the coal heritage, they really felt like that's something that cannot continue, especially with mountain top removal. Um, so I actually took it upon myself because recently um, Blacksburg Charlottesville and Arlington County uh, have all passed resolutions officially opposing this power plant. Um, so I went to Fairfax County and I asked um, uh, Chairman um, Joe Connolly to make a statement <coughs> regarding this, which I would like to read and uh, give before you. Um, and actually, What you need to do, Mr. Carter, is you need to summarize what he said. Okay. Because he's not here, so you know the deadline for comment has passed. But you can summarize and okay. synopsize what he said. Um, essentially, uh, he was stating that uh, he first thanked the commission uh, for your process as far as uh, the re-regulation proposed by Dominion last year, um, and that he says we must take aggressive action to reduce emissions. Um, and the comments about uh, different counties in, around the country um, pursuing renewable portfolio standards, adopting cool counties, cool cities, and other greenhouse da gas reduction initiatives. Um, and 
Uh, he says, unfortunately, with 5.4 million tons of annual carbon dioxide emissions, this proposed coal power plant would more than negate our efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Um, we are concerned that the coal plant might also include, increase pollution in Northern Virginia, a federal non-attainment area, particularly in ozone pollution. Data on prevailing winds suggests that pollutants from the coal plant could drift over Northern Virginia within 72 hours of emission and 8 out of 12 months of the year, posing additional health risks to our community. Um, and I'll just read this verbatim. Um, Perhaps before building another coal plant, Dominion should make investments in conservation, demand side management, and renewable energy. There are practical alternatives in um, exacerbating uh, global warming and impairing the health of Fairfax County residents. For example, the Virginia Energy Plan identified 30,050 megawatts of econo economically recoverable wind energy in the mountains and off of Virginia's coast. So he uh, respectfully requests that we examine the alternative actions available to us before approving no high emissions coal plant. Now I'd like to second that. <laughs>